Welcome back, everybody, to another, uh, Layers of Fear. Um, now, I had a funny thing happen. I actually had this recorded yesterday, I thought, but my recording software, uh, messed up, screwed up the whole video so I couldn't use it, so, um, this is not quite a perfect continuation because you all missed me catching the third object, uh, which was actually, ironically, like my name there, um, a bone I will show you, but we are going to play more. This is yet another continuation I'm doing because uh, you all asked me why I didn't do more continuations, so I am. Um, and because I keep things genuine, I didn't just want to lie to you all and pretend like uh, yesterday's video never happened, so let me show you all what I found here, and this is creepy as shit. Um, I needed to remove the flesh from the bone first. Uh, I was lost to how, but then I sawed it off with the handsaw. Boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one. Obviously, this was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint and made for a lovely undercoat. There is the bone. So three objects of this twisted tail gotten, three to go. We're gonna try for one today. And the painting turned into this, which very well may be, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, it looks like some sort of horrible mashup of like a human and like feathered beast decaying. Um, that or maybe like a dinner piece of discussion for Lady Gaga, I don't know. Um, now, as I said the first time around, this game definitely gives me a bit of the spooks, I'm not going to lie to y'all, it's a little creepy. Um, but what I like about it is that it's not cheap creepy, it's palpable. The tension is palpable. And, um, you know, I grew up with 80s movies, I grew up in a... Here we go. What is that? I don't like that at all. First, can I just point that out? And it. What if the dude don't? Game. You asshole. What are you doing? It's all inky in here and creepy looking. It's almost like a black silk uh, mixed with motor oil, I would say. Um, but there's just something very visceral, and I want to say at the same time very primal about this game. I think it, uh, that's why it works. It's horrifying, but not horrifying in a, oh my god, this just jumped out of me way. It's horrifying in a fundamentally twisted, and as the story keeps going on, oh, I think that's us and then our beloved. Uh, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse way. Um, I'm going to call it now. I don't think we're in a physical place. I think we're in the artist's mind. So we're discovering his memories. And this looks like some sort of children's room. Now, I believe the wife was with child. Um, and pieced together from the first playthrough. It was clear there was a fire. Yesterday, you all missed it. And again, I apologize. It's uh, the software. Delirious, it says. Um, dude, there's like a loud booming. I don't, I don't like that. And there's chains. Drunk. Why are there chains? I don't like that. There's something big coming. Selfish. Oh god. What, 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 what was that? F you game. F you so bad. Oh, well, look at this nonsense. You trap me in here? Is he doing something horrible to that poor horse? Is that a horse? Is that a dog? I don't like the implication, I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay. Dude. Holy shit, that's crazy. Ooh. No, that's not right. Try again. Don't give me that look. What do we do when we fail? We start over. You're better than this. Now sit down, and this time, let's make it perfect. 
Well, that's a freaking prima donna, isn't he? Since you play him in this, I gotta say, I'm not really liking my main character. He's kind of an asshole. Um, and possibly a killer, from the look of it. Oh, God, why is this a children's toy? Children are so friggin' creepy in horror games. Oh, sweet Jesus, that was not cool. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I generally have, like... My heart is beating a million miles a minute. I'm afraid to touch this damn thing. I'm not lying. Uh, let me look around. Take in more of the ambiance spray moment. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Okay. Um, although, in a way, thank you to the creators. It's, uh... This game feels a lot like a roller coaster ride. Hey, or what is that? So the Wait, child survived to five at least. What day is it? It's Sunday? You mean I... Oh, well, why didn't you come and get me? God damn it! You know how I get when I'm caught up in my work! What an asshole. So I missed my own kid's birthday. Uh, I'm guessing the bottles of liquor help his work, if you follow me. I think he's a, a bit of a lutch. Obviously, slightly verbally abusive. Uh, and, uh, as I suspect, a killer, unless this is just all in his head and he has not killed anybody yet. Which would be the nicest ending I could hope for, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, come on now. This is like Alice in Wonderland in Hell. I don't think we're getting in there. Uh, I saw that door yesterday, I believe, actually. Um, and like I said, that one was creepy, you all would have laughed, but uh, I promised you all a sequel, and I deliver. We're at Bones and Gary, we're all about the quality, folks. There's a mama with a little baby in her tum-tums. So that, uh, there, there's a lot of, like, undertone here of tragedy, you know, the alcoholism... A formerly great artist, I'm guessing, turned alcoholic. His wife was disfigured in a fire. Marriage guy, kids in marriage, expect the unexpected. I think the only thing we can take away for real from this marriage guide is expect the unexpected. I'm, I'm not married, but uh, I am a dad, though. Um, everyday Magic of Parenthood, the new must. The new book by Molly Pierce is a must-read for parents who are expecting their first child and to create a happy, healthy environment for the baby. So I can tell you now, none of this is healthy. Nor is my willingness to throw myself back into a game that is seriously freaking me out. Jesus. H, I was not ready for that. Oh. Thank you, creators. There's that mouse thing again. He has some weird, like, vendetta against mice. Uh, we've seen it all through this, the exterminator thing. Dude, I did not like that door thing at all. That really, uh, that really ruffled the feathers there. I did what? I don't like that music. That's creepy music. That is a pipe, not unlike mine. I do actually smoke like tobacco. I know some of your like grossy smokes. Look, it's not for everybody. I'm not I'm not condoning the act of smoking. I'm just I'm very honest with y'all. So I smoke uh pipe tobacco when I want to relax. So. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Hey, one thing. Gold and white. That baby needs a pimp cape. Some pretty fancy looking shoes for a, for a child. Dude, I, I don't know where this game is going to take me next, but I'm not excited to get there. Christ, if this rate by the end of it, we'll find out we massacred a bus full of nuns. Oh, what is this? Uh, where 
are the scissors. So he has definitely got like mice on the brain. That is not a metaphor, that is for once. That is a. Uh, I don't really do a lot of metaphors, guys, do I? Look, it's the Bye Bye Man. Did you catch that reference? You haven't seen that movie, I can't really. I mean, I don't know. This might, you know what, no. This might be a fun time to give you guys a list of horror movies I enjoy, since we're doing a horror game. Why not, man? Maybe you find something on the list you like, maybe you won't. Um, Bye Bye Man was not a great one, in my opinion. It was a time passer. It's one of those you can watch, and it's good. Like, meh. It's a horror movie. You know, it's a kind of paint by numbers to do with that one. That whole wall is vibrating, and this is why I don't play games uh, drunk, because this would totally mess me up right here. And I would probably just chill out. Oh, what? Please tell me I don't have to actually play a whole game of checkers. It has been a long time since I've played. Did they already move? Something is missing from the board. Um. No, and you know, and I mean, if that movie is your speed and you dig it, no problem. You know, I'm a lot like the Paranormal Activities. I couldn't get into them. A lot of people love them. To me, it was just an hour, and then I watch it, and then. A chair moves and a desk moves, and I'm like, are you kidding me? That's it? Give me demons or some something. Uh, you know, which is ironic because I am a big fan of like the old 80s, uh, 70s, you know, the slow burners, like Rosemary's Baby, all them. They were called slow burners because you actually had to have a lot of patience, and they built the tension. Now, that feeds into this game for one very important reason. What the creators have done here is made an excellent uh, use of tension. Instead of simple jump scares where you know it's coming, uh, you never know what's coming in this game, I promise you. I've seen so many horror movies that I usually predict what's going to happen by the end way early on in the film, I still keep getting thrown for weeks in the past. I don't. <laughs> it's like something right out of the friggin' first Poltergeist movie right here. Uh, so where does... What, what, what was that? Go! Go backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Quick, quick, go backwards. I don't like that! What was that? I know! Our studio cat here didn't like it either. Come here, buddy. Oh, he don't want to come up now. That's too much for him, apparently. Oh, dude. That was literally like the voodoo doll from hell right there. What uh, what was that? Before you like, I don't know, voodoo dolls from hell? No, actually. Uh, voodoo had a strong birthplace in Haiti. Voodoo is a very social religion. The, the uh, Voodoo Loa, the spirits contacted to go in and out of season and are often talked about. Talking behind our backs. We got some lemonade stuff, some Beyonce stuff going on here. What's, what's all this? Oh boy. All I gotta say is, I hope you all realize uh, how much dedication we put into this channel, because I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, I'm already gonna have a very tense day, so yeah. And then on top of it, we've got this going on. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm a glutton for self-punishment, folks. Um, no, so what are some horror movies that I would recommend to you all? Well, if you like humor in your horror movie. Um, 
Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is one you've got to see. Uh, along with Behind the Mask, uh, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, write those two down. Fantastic. Um, both take the horror movie convention and completely do something new with it. Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil uh, are what happen when you judge people based on what you think they are, not what they are. And uh, Behind the Mask is interesting because it's sort of a mockumentary about a guy who wants to become the next big slasher. So, uh, like, you know, Freddy, Jason, all that. And so he invites this film college crew to do their assignment on him and document his rise to stardom. But of course there's, you know, moral questions. How far do you let this guy go? Is he serious? Is he for real? You, what do we do? Legally, are we screwed? Do we... So it's an interesting film. I feel like I just walked in the same two rooms. <laughs> no more creepy shit. I don't know what I expected. It's not like I didn't expect this game to be creepy, but now I should be... This, this should be part of the course. I should be like, yeah, more floating shit. Oh, what am I doing with my day? Um... Genuinely creepy. I'm not gonna lie, I was sort of a sucker. Uh, out of the paranormal activity, insidious, sinister branch, if I had to go with any one of the three, uh, I would have went with sinister simply because I liked that weird do 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 that weird like clicky chain music they did there during the scenes, and I thought it was a movie that toned down gore in favor of shock and and in favor of suspense. And there were a few overly cheesy parts, yes, but it did a fairly good job. It had Ethan Hawke, um, and it added in, you know, a disheveled writer. Um, I actually laughed a little bit because I noticed most writers in movies always seem to have... Tell me if you guys notice this. Do not all writers in movies, especially horror movies, always seem to have a cardigan? Is that like a requirement? Um, here's truly actually. Alrighty. Oh, dude, don't with that. Come on now. Not cool. I don't know. I don't. What is this? Sweet Jesus, my heart. I feel like I've ran cardio. This is friggin alarmingly creepy um, but no have you all noticed that they always seem to have cardigans writers and games and in media I don't know what that is I myself do write I have I've had a few things uh, published and I'm working on my first uh, series of short stories actually so not done yet though y'all sorry um, need to get back in it and hammer that out. Dude, I don't... Something horrible is going to happen there. I don't like this part at all. Creepy-ass kids and dolls and... I mean, don't get me wrong. Chucky never freaked me out, but that is just unsettling on a deep... Dude, no. That's, that is not a right. I think we, as, a, as people, as just human beings, don't like seeing children harmed, so dolls are a representation of the creepiness of that. I mean, why not, you know, why not? I don't know if the aim of this game is to give me a heart attack, but this may be the first game to do it. Oh, what was that sneaky voodoo shit there? It's no more of that, please. This is hinting that something has clearly went wrong with the child, or... What did happen to the child, actually? Because it's... I mean, there was a fifth birthday, right? So the child was alive that long. Um... Anyways, uh, if you don't mind the...
I'm not loving this, guys. <laughs> On one part, I am thrilled with this game being the way it is so far because it is not a cheap ass just jump scare for no reason game and there's a lot of tension but man if you could feel my heart right now I feel like it's gonna burst out of my chest oh the kid bit it on the wall is that what happened is he is this metaphorical the kid ran into a house did something happen in said house are we Oh, dude, I really don't like this. No, what? I know you ran behind me, you little shit. I know it. Freaking demon child, this kid. Okay, so that's where he runs. I'm gonna walk forward past it. It looks... Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's back that up. I don't know what weird shit's going on behind me, but I don't want to see it. Why did you look? Why did you look? Why did you look in the first place? Because you just know something is going to... Dude, I'm not... I'm not a fan of this here. This is such a tight space for my character to be in. Although, if he's Victorian, he's slender anyway, usually. A lot of plague happened around those times, carried, ironically, by the same rats and mice this guy is fearful of. I want to say at one point yesterday, I saw like some little drawing of like, maybe mites, or some sort of beetle burrowing in his skin as well, that he was afraid of. So he just doesn't like the creepy crawlies, period, no matter what they are. And it's just going to happen forever. Is that what I'm doing here? I feel like that's what I'm doing here. So let's get out of there. This game has a funny way of showing you that you are going the wrong way by just letting you continually make an idiot of you. Where am I gonna look? Because I'm a glutton. So, do not burst through the damn window, please. I swear to God. Well, I'm lucky I pissed before I played this game, because if not, I sure would have. Aw, oh, dude, what is this hellish thing now? Christ, it's like something out of Hellraiser. Not loving that! No, what is this? No, 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 no. Can I go backwards? Go, run! That is the second time I've been accosted. In this playthrough, guys, what is this craziness? Oh, dude, I do not like that. That time I was definitely accosted because I'm getting up off the ground now. To get put me somewhere, eh? Where did you put me? Some sort of shiny over here, maybe? No? I'm back in that damn room. See, I thought this would be important, honestly. But I can't interact with it, so I guess not. Am I missing something, guys? Should I be? Is there something else that's blatantly obvious? I've been told before that my screen settings are too dark. Um, maybe comment below on that. Um, and comment and tell me some of your guys' favorite horror movies. Uh, like I was saying, Children of the Corn, great classic, Creep Show 1 and 2, must sees. Not everything in those are great, but the raft is one of my favorite segments of Creep Show 2. Creep Show 1. I don't know so much that I have one segment. More dolls. Great! But I, uh. That house reminds me of, like, the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Remember the, the character, the Patricia Arquette, in the model house? Uh, that she makes, that she can kind of like interact with, and it's like a ready morning. Uh, yeah, well now what? What am I supposed to be doing? I feel like the game wants me to go this way, so we'll, we'll say, okay game, we're glutton for punishment. Oh, someone is so getting a magic eraser. Oh, that, that's not good. 
clearly. What is wrong with this door? What has happened? Oh, I'm not loving this. Oh, God, no, not the demon child again. No, 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 no. You know what? Screw it. Let's take a look. So something with the head and the legs, which is ironic because your guy is missing the leg. So maybe something, uh... What is with that weird glowy ass paint there? Is that paint? Is that something I can play with now? Oh god, my vision's out. Screwy here. What just happened? Can I die in this? Because if so, I feel like that is going to be happening soon. Uh, Something is clearly on my tails. If not this whole house that seems to hate me. But my guy has his own weird set of sick psychoses that I don't really know how to process any better than I am. I'm gonna say that if my guy doesn't end up being a serial killer, then I really don't know what the story of this game is going to be. Um, Clearly he is verbally abusive, clearly he is mentally abusive, he is an alcoholic. I believe the story goes that he, everything was blissful for a time. They had this grand opening, there was a fire, the wife got disfigured. Maybe the child died during the fire? Uh, I can't think of anything else that makes as much sense when it comes to that, so I'm gonna go with that theory maybe. Fluffy figures. So, lying still between the toys. No toys allowed. So this guy's obsession with rats is getting to be an alarming. Hold on. Uh, eat for you. I'm trying to take everything in. There's just so much to see in this room. You gotta understand, guys, I'm a little excited here. This is like the most, uh, come on, son. Luckily, I, I myself am not at all a nerd nor upset by clowns. Um, I rather like clowns, actually. Uh, Jack in the boxes don't scare me, so. Well, that did nothing. Oh, boy. Did I move that? I feel like Urkel there for a minute. Did I do that? Okay, we can grab those, those look important there, and then nothing there that I can grab, I... Please don't let me clip off some weird umbilical cord or anything like that, I... Man, little kids are unsettling. Um... Now don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm happy to be a dad, I, I enjoy being a dad, so... It's not that I think, oh, little kids aren't selling, it's just, in games and in movies, for some reason, they always just look hellish and do horrid things, and there we go. I'm already preparing for it. This jump scare will not get me. Ah, nice try. Clowns don't scare me. That I was not expecting. That was a good twist. Why again with the creepy ass baby dolls? Like, not loving that. Uh, what did this guy do, man? Good lord. If we're in his head, this is a deeply disturbed individual. That's creepy. Um, as I said, I think that on some level, dolls 
That's mommy in a wheelchair and daddy cranky. That's daddy and all bloody, I think. And hush, little baby, the night is dark. Stars fade above you, the room goes dark. Oh, there's crying with a sword tied up like this. Mama used to come to tuck you in. It's closer now. The demon horde of things is closer. Now she's nowhere to be seen. Legend run. Oh boy, I'm not liking that. Okay, hi. Hi there. Yes, my thoughts exactly, Cat. I feel like something deeply profound was revealed there. Uh, clearly, he killed the wife. Did he kill the child, I'm guessing, as well? Is that what we're seeing here? I... This was a special brush. Oh, no. Like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. Human hair. Human hair. Human hair is my next piece. A little piece of skin. Fuck, oh, dude. Now I'm loving this part. What in the holy hell? Ooh. That was actually genuinely terrifying. In a very non-cool way, man. I'm not alright with that. Not. I'm just gonna take a deep breath here for a moment. You know, the hellish flamingos weren't so bad, but this is slowly morphing into like a whole giant grotesque thing of... Maybe the artist? Is this going to be me in the end? Am I sort of rebuilding me? Is this a metaphor? Well, let's open it. And there we go, guys. We have skin, blood, bone, hair. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess if the devs felt like being extra nasty about it. They went with teeth as one of them. Oh yeah, you know, we haven't checked this paper in a while. I hate even now. Lost, alone, hopeless, you have always been alone. You always will be, hoping a grave heir finished it. So as you keep painting this and finding things, the... God, that's creepy. Thing fills up and even over here seems to change. Like before, there certainly was not Satan's workshop going on. Oh, why am I doing more of this? Why am I doing more of this? Because I promised you guys I would do a sequel to the first, so I'm doing another Let's Play. I'm going to just take a quick time check here, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I can't promise you guys it will be much more of this, but I do try to keep my word, actually. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's, I'm not liking that. God. I'm literally afraid to do anything in this game because I feel like it's just going to be creepy. That's how spooked this game has me right now. You know how messed up that is? Oh, there's a puzzle in all sorts of this. Alright, here's what we're going to do then, yo. I'm going to call this here. We're going to call this part two. If you guys want to see part three, let me know. There'll be a part three. Um, I'll keep it open for a few days where y'all can let me know. Otherwise, uh, maybe I'll finish this uh, alone off camera later or something. You know. Oh no. That's creepy. Are you kidding me right now? Anyways, uh, yeah, so, 
I'm Bones. Make sure you guys subscribe, uh, give us a like, comment on your favorite horror movies. Some I think you guys would like. If you haven't seen some of the classics, Creep Show One definitely. Creep Show Two, uh, Children of the Corn, the original, not all the crazy sequels and all that BS. The original solid. Obviously, Rosemary's Baby. If you want to see a very weird one. Uh, the Sentinel is a great classic with a lot of big film stars where you won't believe how many famous people are actually in it. And yet it's not that well-known. Not as well-known as some of the others on the list. Um, Trick or Treat, as far as newer ones. Great little anthology of stories, it reminds me. Again, a creep show. Uh, so that was a pretty good one. Of course, I'm a slasher fan, so most of the big slashers. If you want funny, like I said... Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, uh, Behind the Mask, Rise of Leslie Vernon. Check them out, guys. Um, I am Bones. Thank you guys very much for watching this crazy ass uh, Let's Play. Um, that I keep putting myself through these for you. Um, so, yes, yeah, subscribe, like, share it with everybody you know. We'll see you on the next one. You guys have a good day.